then everyone, hello and welcome back to another episode of Final Fantasy VI Blindfolded Brave New World. So, uh, in this episode I'll be going through Daryl's tomb, should be one of the easier dungeons. But, on a side note, this is the last time I have to equip, equip my characters blindfolded because by necessity I'll have the airship or a save point for the rest of the game. So I don't have to deal with those shenanigans ever again as long as I get this segment right the first time, which I probably won't because I was I'm not going to be very careful here. Alright, then anyway, items. Back out once and then arrange my inventory. I'll need that later or else tents are going to be way down at the bottom and I don't want to deal with that. Skills. Actually, that's kind of pointless because I'll be doing this L tenting in the next segment anyway, so maybe that was a waste of time. Skills. Celeste. Esper. Rama. Skills, Setzer, Esper, as you may have noticed, uh, Setzer gained a level the last segment, I totally forgot to give him an Esper for that level, and I can't revert back now, so he's stuck without, with one less Esper bonus than he'd normally get, which is a bummer because Setzer already gets one of the lower amounts, but oh well. It's not too big a deal, to be honest. Uh, so, the next one's... Oh yeah, right. Change Celeste's row. Down to equip. Equip. Celeste. Equip. Top slot. Down three to the flame tongue, because, you know, things are weak to fire in here, obviously. Equip. Down to the Edgar. Equip. Top slot. Down one. I could do some sort of Dragoon setup, but I'm too lazy to equip him with that. I'm just gonna do the easy thing and shove a Soul Saber on him and have him spam Flash for the moment. And down two. And yeah. Down one to the Dragon Helm that is oh so nice. Equip. Setzer, Equip, Top Slot, it says just kind of mix up both of them. Down one to the Demon's Bane, which gives slightly better bonuses. One, two, three. Down to the Dark Hood, which gives much better bonuses than what he's got now. Unless he really needed magic defense, but that's not really the case. Relic. Uh, I hope it was Setzer first. Setzer, equip, top slot, R, and then up one, and then down one for the second one time. Kinda like bookends. S Edgar, equip, top slot. Uh, it was one up from the bottom to get the ribbon, and one, two, three, four down to the stat stick. Okay then, hopefully I did that correctly, and hopefully I don't make any mistakes in here. If that's the case, then no more equipping ever. Alright, made it there just fine. The thing about this dungeon is that I never have to fight more than one to three battles in a segment, so uh, I didn't really think about... I didn't check cursor positions at all, so... Ah, oh, it's a back attack too. Shame, because I need to get this all worked out. I don't remember Celeste or Sabin even, so... Okay, so this is either Celeste or Setzer. Unfortunately, telling the difference between the two is probably going to be nigh impossible. I'm going to guess Celeste. Because she's faster. And this was a back attack, which means I can be more likely to get it right based on speed. Actually, I think uh, Sabin and uh, Edgar are 2P, so I'm not sure who Setzer is. Alright. Let's input that either way. Okay, I was wrong about who is 2P, but I was right about that being Celeste. And this last character is, I don't know yet, so just... Oh wait, it's gotta be Setzer, because I only had one button pressed earlier, so that meant it was Sabin earlier. 
and now I press the A button a lot. Unfortunately, everyone's in the back row, so hopefully nothing goes too horribly wrong. The enemies in here are somewhat threatening, but... I'm just mainly relying on the uh, shortness of the dungeon to pull me through here. El Nino. That's a thing. As long as I'm not poisoned, I'll be healing over time with the life bell. If I am poisoned, well, that won't be useful, and I'll have to rely almost entirely on Setzer overall. I'm not, as you can probably guess, I'm not even really paying that much attention to what's going on. I'm not really figuring out what's happening. I don't even remember if my characters have them poisoned, and that should be something that's really easy to go. Oh, they weren't poisoned before, they will be now. Well, on the bright side of things, at least I know that my characters are poisoned. <laughs> Unfortunately, with my characters in the wrong row, this will take a little bit longer unless... I love that healing. More El Nino. Thankfully this dungeon doesn't have any longevity, so I don't really need to be too careful here about whether I set myself up correctly, whether I do the right things. And that battle appears to be over. So that's probably one out of three. I'll go right here, there's no way I can really mess myself up either way, I'm pretty sure. It'll either be one or two battles probably before I get out, unless I get insanely unlucky. Because all I have to do is run down and grab this chest. Genji Helm. I'll deal with that later. No thanks on re-equipping in the middle when I'm going to be very leaving very quickly anyway. Probably only get one or two battles at this point, so... That's one more. I hope my life bells mostly counter the poison. If not, I could be in for a nasty surprise here. Yeah, I'm not even bothering to heal the poison. Perhaps that's a bit lazy, but... Well, uh, Edgar appears to be dead, probably. Hopefully the team will pull through with their teamwork skills. Thankfully, Setzer's at least got the Relic Ring, which should help me out a little bit. I... I'm not sure if it's Setzer... Oh, no, he's not the only one alive. But Sabin definitely appears to be dead. I might be on a crash course with failure here, but... In which case, I'll have to make the at least the bare minimum of effort to cure poison, at least. But maybe Setzer will be able to pull through anyway. These things mostly use poison attacks, so... And he's got plenty of healing, I guess. Especially since the poison attacks are healing him, too. But as long as Celeste is alive, I won't have him start attacking. Oh, that thing's dead. Or not. I was expecting it to die, but I guess it's... I'm a little off because the Rising Sun missed. Well, that's one thing gone for sure. And not the other. I don't think Celeste will be able to finish it off. I'm padding out this segment in terms of time just by being lazy. I mean, uh... It, 
it just helps me out a lot more, trust me, to not cure that poison. It's very helpful in telling something very complicated that I cannot explain. Wow, uh, Celeste keeps missing. Uh, I bet these things have high evade. Well, she's not gonna die as long as Setzer keeps healing, and if he attacks, what that Melboro is pretty much dead, probably, so... Hopefully that does it in. Yeah, good. Even a Mount Bor was not going to be taking that with a smile. No other battles, please. Nope, no other battles. That's the end of that. Uh, except I'm not going to be on, say, on items now, will I? Equip, skills, items, save. I was correct. Just, uh, that's not right. Well, apparently I did something wrong. Uh, what happened that made this different from last time? I swear it was one, two, three, four. What's going on? I'm totally confused as to what my cursor is doing. I swear I had warp whistles. R once and then four up. Maybe I miscounted? Nope. Well, I guess I can search for them the slow way. I won't use anything as long as I only press the button twice. I honestly have no idea what could have happened. I even tried the button in case I uh, so failed to sort the inventory. I tried going two up, but that didn't work either, so I'm at a loss, really. Unless I'm not actually in the edit inventory, but I gotta be, because the save is up one. This is very annoying, because... I'm not even hitting anything that's going burner, like tense or anything, which makes me very confused as to what's actually happening. Finally. Jeez. Well, that's the end of the first mini sode. Still plenty more to go, I guess. Alright then, everyone. Let's keep going after I remember to heal, because I'm not being an idiot in this segment. Yeah, I forgot before... It was two R's and then I go up, not one, so that was where my mess came from. And this time I'll heal poison, because I'm not going to be lazy and stupid this time around. Well, that's one room out of the way. Now I go down left. You might have seen this somewhere before. Maybe just recently, in fact. But on the other side... Hello, battle number one. Don't even need to figure it out. 
go for it. Uh, what? Well, uh, I guess Celeste is out. Because that was definitely a zombification, and Edgar has the ribbon handy, so he's, it's not going to be him. Hooray for deduction. I don't care if Celeste is zombified. Oh, good work. Shocking yourself. Oh, whoops, that was Sabin. Well, congratulations, Sabin. You just, uh... I, I think he's been slacking off on his training. I don't think Duncan pushed him hard enough because he's totally forgetting how to do all his fancy moves there. At this rate, I'm down to two people. <laughs> Though I have to wonder what exactly this battle is that I got both gigavolted and uh, zombified. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. I'm probably down to one person now. Uh, oh, must have died from the gigavolt there. Maybe I was wrong. I seem to have both Setzer and Edgar still alive. And the pearl would have reflected off a of Sabin. If they took that, maybe they'll make it to the end of the battle. Whoever got hit by that. The Orog's pearl kind of sucks, I think, to be honest, compared to what pearl could do. I am really not paying enough attention to Sabin, am I? And Celeste keeps whacking my own party. That's a ripoff. What was that noise on the left side? Must have been... Oh. Hopefully that'll finish him. Well, I killed two enemies, and if I recall correctly, the third one's already dead. So yeah, we are in fact golden on that one. Yep out of the battle, so just gotta worm our way back to the bottom left. I was probably close to being there already. This will, this segment will be anywhere between three and five battles, I'm pretty sure. So again, not too much to go through, but unlike the uh, remedies, which I actually bothered to learn the location of this time around, right at the top, as I should have probably remembered. I do not know where my revivifies are, so I'm not going to bother trying to get those. And also, noise is everywhere to tell me where I'm going, so that's nice. As expected, that was Sabin. Just flash from Edgar. Oh, wow, reflected Gigavolt. The nice thing about Celeste being zombified is that she's another target for Gigavolt and Holy. As opposed to if she was just dead like Sabin and Edgar were last time. Because I was being an idiot. Well, not an idiot, I was just being lazy. And Celeste is busy attacking my party again. She hasn't had any procs go off in my party, though, so that's okay. Uh, wait. Is... nope. Sometimes it's hard to tell when the end of the battle's about to come up. Hey, she went on the right side this time. Oh, and that's the end of that. So I'll just hold it up and mash A because I'm going to be hitting a switch and then I'll walk back out, hear the door noise, I'm in the other room, down and right. So I'm almost there. This might actually be a three battler. Which actually kind of surprises me because it was almost five last time. Yeah, there's battle number three. But I'm almost there, so as long as I can stomach these guys, which I probably can. Considering I've still got three party members alive. Including the all-important Setzer. Then again, Setzer can still die like a chump to Gigavolt, so... 
Doesn't mean a whole lot, but I don't really care if he dies to Gigavolt. I've essentially got half my team who can get wiped pretty easily by Gigavolt, and half my team that can be wiped pretty easily by Zombite, so... With no one who's protected from both, so... Things can go wrong, technically, but... That would require a lot of Zombites going in the wrong direction, a lot of Gigavolts going in the wrong direction, and... If either of them are going the right direction, they're worthless. And I don't seem to be if now that I've resolved to heal the poison if I get poisoned, it appears that poison's not even coming up anymore. Too, I still haven't even figured out which enemies I'm fighting. This is so lame, but I don't need to do any better than this. So I'm not even bothering. So is that the end? It appears it was. Okay. And I uh, think I should have made it to the chest by now. Perhaps I walked straight by it. Yes, I did. In fact. Item. I used a tent earlier. But I scrolled back to the top. For no reason whatsoever. Well, now that I'm not spending five minutes going through my warp whistles... That was probably even shorter than last time. Yes, in fact, about half as long. Probably I should have been able to do better than a probably there. Alright, let's uh, try this again. You may notice that I'm not in quite the situation I was in last time, and you'll see why in the bloopers. Basically, I thought I had hit the switch at the bottom, but in fact I had just walked in the first door that you get through just before the switch, and so I walked straight out of the room without hitting the switch. So essentially I've already done this segment, but now I have to do it again. And I ended up saving my progress because I thought I had completed it. Uh, battle right away. I'm probably gonna get four or five this time. After last time went so nicely too. Someone's probably confused. Where is everyone else? Oh wait, this is probably Setzer, isn't it? is Celeste, so send her back up to attack, and so maybe Seven got confused then, because I had control of everyone else after that thing went off, or I guess, well I guess theoretically Edgar or Sensor could have been hit by it for that matter. I can't tell which side that was on. Well, I got poisoned. Well, I guess I better heal that after last time. I keep forgetting that sensor came up first, throwing me off. I'm not seeing a whole ton of procs out of Office Celeste, which is kind of weird because she has the Mystery Veil on still. I haven't taken it off because those procs are worth more than the Genji Helm's uh, defense at this moment. In my opinion, at least, because I don't really need to worry about surviving for too long here. That's hopefully the end of that, so I can get on the move again. Alright, battle over. Yep, there we go. Oh, that's the first door. I hadn't even had a battle here by this point, so... I got my first battle walking down and left like this, and I might get the second battle here this time.
It appears not. I think I made it. Alright, into the second room. What? Come on. Oh yeah, right. I'm being an idiot because I've already gotten the chest, because I already did this once. Well, if that's any... I guess that's... if there's any consolation, it's that. It'll make this slightly faster. And I have tons of warp whistles and enough tents too, so... For some reason, I... oh no wait, I actually don't have quite enough tents, but I'll be able to heal manually on the save point more easily. Alright, so I know it's two down to the chest. It's one down. I guess I might end up having to include that quote-unquote blooper in the uh, actual videos considering stuff actually happened there. And sensor beats happen again. You douche. Actually, it's probably a pre- no, it can't have been because they attacked before me. Unless they were just really fast. Sus and Savin still haven't been zombited yet. Which is nice, because Seven does very good damage to these Arogs, more than anyone else does, for sure. That first thing's dead. Any other takers? I mean, I suppose you it's kind of been there for done that for everything in this cave. But, I mean, this isn't a cave at all. But whatever. For all I know, it's a cave. I'm blindfolded. Oh no, I'm hearing attacks on my side, so now Celeste is gone. And so is someone else possibly at this point, considering she procced. Well, Edgar's still good. What was that? A single attack? Maybe I missed a miss noise. That ha that's happened before. And it was Sabin? I don't know. Down one more. Right onto the staircase. I can't press the button on the chest anymore, so... I just gotta go for it. Now that I know the chests are already grabbed, this will definitely be two or three battles. Door number one, and... There we go. How did I mistake that for a door noise? I mean, a door noise for that, rather. There we go. Pain in the butt. Should have had this a lot quicker than I did. <laughs> this should be the easiest of the three mini minisodes, yet it's giving me very much trouble here because I'm messing this up royally. So, uh, fun fact number one, I was actually tempted to believe for a couple seconds that BTB and Sinkizzy had actually changed up the door in Daryl's tomb so that it shuts if you leave the dungeon to prevent the exact warp whistling thing that I did there. But, turns out that's not the case, after all. <laughs> Uh, that's one attack, I guess, on my side. Setzer, why do you keep eating Sabin? What is wrong with you? I think you might have some sort of disease. And you just flash him. Do what you're good at, right? No proc still from my mystery veil. And fun fact number two, at any rate, in my BFLLG, I legitimately completely forgot to plan this segment out, so I just improv the whole thing. It's like, oh, uh, whatever. I don't care. <laughs> just gonna do it anyway, not even gonna restart. Once I'm on the save point, I'll be able to equip my guys a little bit better, but of course I won't be equipping my characters for the dungeon at that point, so... I didn't... again, I didn't make it to the first door without a battle. Unfortunate, but... It 
should only be two in this sequence still, I'm hoping. Hop on the turtle, hop on the turtle. I don't know where exactly the turtle is, but I know that gets me on him somewhere, so... There's no door noise this time. Good to know. So, right, up, right, up, right, up, up, left, up, left, up, left, to the back wall. Now I just go up and right a couple times. And I'm into the safe point. So... All menuing that has to be done blindfolded. Actually, that might not be true. I may have to equip my characters halfway through a segment. But don't tell them future me that! <laughs> 